to talk about setting up uh, your camera inspect with respect to um, system. We'll be doing this lesson per se on a 750, 650, but it is the same system across all machines. There's no difference in code. So to teach the camera, it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna hit the menu, you're gonna to camera setup. It's gonna explain how the camera works, um, whatever. There's my phone number if you need to reach me. Hit start again. It's gonna go through all the air codes and you're gonna hit start. And then the system itself will move to its position. So this location is the location the system will actually inspect the camera or inspect the round. When you're doing this, you need to ensure that any lights you have on need to be on during the load process. If this is different, this will affect the read or the way the camera uh, identifies an issue. Uh, once here, you'll start the learning process. Um, we have all the errors. To teach the errors, you're just pushing the buttons. But the big thing we wanna cover real quick is the looking box. You can see on here it's already reading because it's a taut scenario. But this camera and this box can be moved. So first off, we're gonna hit this reel, the lower reel. It's good. You wanna make sure your system is on object classification. You're gonna hold it again. You're gonna go scroll up. Yeah, if I get a good read on it. And you're gonna to go to frame select, frame ratio, frame size, frame X. You could click on this. If you need to move it to the, you need to move it up, down. And you're more or less gonna move this to where the crosshairs, and there's crosshairs there, the video is not gonna show the best, but on your thing itself, it'll show. You can move the next one, the Y, and this will allow you to move that box where it needs to be. Next, we'll go to threshold. Threshold, the larger that number is, the, the more, how to describe this about being a nerd, the more, um, the more numbers it need, or the more, the more accurate it needs to be. I normally set mine to 99 or 100, uh, 99, 88, you can kind of play this number, but you more or less want to set this up per se, so that whenever you have a bullet in the right orientation or the wrong orientation, it decides it's not jumping. That number's not going up and down. See how the menu keeps disappearing on you. I'm going to lower my six and you're going to scroll all the way down. On mine, I have that gross engineering and I'll move that on this screen. Hit save and return. Yes, I will save for an object classification. We're good. So we're going to teach the system real quick. So the first area we want to set up to teach is nothing there. Nothing is there. We've taught it. First error is being taught. Next, we want to do a definition of perfect. We're going to hit. We've taught it. Next, we want to do case without a bullet. See how it's. We're going to hit. Next one, we're good. Then we're gonna to wanna to do with an upside down bullet. We've taught it four. We wanna teach it sideways bullet or anything that's gonna cause. See over there, number five. Now always wanna check your work. So if you go back, see on my screen now it's four still. Yeah, normally these have powder in them so they're not so pretty much that's how you do it. Now we've saved them. We've done all the errors we want to. Hit save. System will unlock on the 750s, the 1050s. It won't move because it's already in the position it needs to be. And system saves. You can do this read write process how many ever times you want. As you get errors or you change bullets or change cases or anything or froze camera errors, go back and reteach it. That's the best approach. Um, but that's really how you set the camera.